Simple Cyber Defense Weekly Updates for January 9th, 2021. Welcome back to the Simple Cyber Defense. In this episode, we're going to be talking about three issues that happened this week. The first is we're going to go over more in depth with the T-Mobile breach, the death of Flash, and the NVIDIA graphics card vulnerability. So let's begin. Last year was very rough for T-Mobile since they faced two data breaches within a year. And this most recent one is a little concerning because this is the second one within the year that T-Mobile had faced but T-Mobile has confirmed that the incident was not as severe as many people were making it out to be. They say that not any major data was exposed so things like things like names email addresses financial information security numbers social security numbers tax IDs were not accessed but however that may or may not be the real case we don't really know that's what T-Mobile is reporting and so it's very important to keep your guard up. Most likely, you would want to definitely change any passwords that you have with T-Mobile just as a precaution. And you just have to remember not all data breaches are the same. Some are more severe than others. And luckily it seems like this one has not been as bad as it could have been. But at the end of the day, you have to decide for yourself if you are a T-Mobile customer are you willing to continue trusting this company and then risk having more data stolen in different data breaches or do you just leave T-Mobile that's a decision you'll have to make on your own next up is the final final death of Flash player Adobe Flash was a very popular web-based animation plugin that was used by many people to do many web animations. It was a very sophisticated piece of software for its time and it did a lot of good. But however, because of its popularity, many people misused the plugins and used it for malicious activities. The first thing you need to do is just remove Flash from your computer completely. Windows will roll an update later in G this month in January, but if you want to do it yourself, I provided a link in the description that goes over the steps that you need to do. It just basically means going into the Windows catalog and then picking out the version of Windows you have and then it will download a uninstaller update that you run on your computer and it will completely remove flash from your from your Windows machine if you're using web-based flash just go through the, your browser of choice and see if there's an option to remove flash if not I'd say wait a month or so and then eventually all the web browsers will completely remove flash through their updates I know Chrome and Firefox will eventually send out updates that will completely remove flash from their op or from their browsers so so there's not much you need to do just remove flash and remember if you ever do 
go to a website that says that you need to download Flash, immediately, immediately shut down the browser and stay away from that site because Flash is no longer being used and should not be used anymore. Should not be downloaded. And if a browser is telling you to download it, it will be malicious software. So do not download it and stay away from that site. And finally, we have NVIDIA graphics cards that have a lot of vulnerabilities this week. And most of these vulnerabilities will either perform denial of service attacks on your computer, privilege escalations, or they will tamper or steal sensitive information on your computer. So what does this mean? It means that it will give the attacker almost complete control of your system and it will use it to either stop you from accessing the internet or it will escalate its privileges so that it could get some nasty viruses on your computer or even just steal any anything that it wants on that computer so nothing will be safe so what needs to be done is you need to seek out patches from NVIDIA and and apply them immediately. These are very severe vulnerabilities. That concludes this week's security update. All the links and everything that we've discussed is in the description and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. If you like what was in this episode, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing with others. For more information, to suggest a topic, or to donate, head over to simplecyberdefense.com.